Now, the word insidious, let me just define it for you because I think it'll help. The word insidious means subtle, gradual, sneaky, but leads to something harmful. So what can you think of that is gradual, subtle, sneaky, that leads to fear? And the answer would be worry. Worry is the insidious fear. We all worry at some point or another, and what we're going to discover today is that actually worry is the gateway to all fears. They be, sort of begins in, in worry. We have those things that get trapped in our head, and we start thinking about these things, and we have negative thoughts in our head, and of course it leads to anxieties, and it le leads to fear, and we're going to talk all about that today. And unless we're dishonest, every single one of us knows that we all fear, and we all worry about something as at some point in our life. It's sort of part of the human condition. I don't know how many of you remember the movie uh, quite a few years ago called The Right Stuff. Do you remember this movie? And it was about the first astronauts in the Apollo mission, and they were picking these fearless men. And one of them, of course, was Chuck Yeager, you know, the test pilot who broke the sound barrier. And I'll never forget this. You know, sometimes you watch a movie and there's one line from the movie that sticks in your head. This was the one line. See, Chuck Lager, Yeager, he broke the sound barrier. He was, uh, you know, people thought you were going to die when that happened. He had no fear in a, his life. And there's a reporter asks the actor, Sam Shepard, who was playing Chuck Yeager, it says, is there nothing in this world you fear? To which he said, only my wife. <laughs> it's funny how those things stick in your head. And there's medical terms for that, by the way. The fear of women is called gynophobia. The fear of marriage is called gamophobia. And the fear of your wife is called common sense. <laughs> <laughs> my God, I could teach you that kind of stuff.